What's up everybody? It's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be telling you guys my Christmas wish list 2021 marine biology edition because I know marine biology is not just what I'm studying. It is a personality trait at this point and pretty much everything I'm asking for for Christmas has to do with marine biology. I think there's like a couple things on my list that don't have to do with marine biology. But before we get started, I wanna do a little self plug. So for those of you who do not know, I run an Etsy called Blackfish & Co. I also have an Instagram, so feel free to go follow that if you would like. But I just released some new stickers. So I have this salmon one that says breach the dams. And I also have this killer whale one that says Orsinus orca on it. And if you guys want these, or you know someone who would love some killer whale inspired stickers for their Christmas gift, check out my link down below. 15% of all net profits made from my stickers go to killer whale conservation. So you're really killing two birds with one stone. You're supporting killer whale conservation efforts and you are getting super cute stickers on top of it. One more self promo plug. I also have a holiday collection coming out in one week. As I'm filming this, it is Wednesday, November 17th, but they come out in one week. I believe that is the 24th of November. And then after that, the week after that, I believe that is December 1st, I have a Winter the Dolphin inspired sticker coming out. So you're gonna wanna follow me and you're gonna wanna get a hold of these stickers because I have a feeling the Winter Dolphin sticker is gonna sell out really fast. All right, now that we are done with the shameless self promo, I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in to my wish list. The first thing I have on my Christmas wish list is this super cute killer whale anatomy shirt from Etsy. This shirt is so cute and you can never have too many whale shirts, obviously. I asked for this shirt in the seafoam green color. It's more so like a little mint color. I figured that would be super cute to pair with like a jean jacket or a turtleneck of some sort. And like I said, you can never have too many whale shirts and I don't have one this color. So that's a plus. The next thing on my Christmas wish list is, surprise, surprise, another Killer Whale shirt. This one is the J-Pod shirt, the updated 2021 shirt from the Whale Museum. If you guys do not know, I love the Whale Museum. I have so many things from the Whale Museum. They take so much of my money, but that is one organization and one company that I will literally throw endless amounts of money to. That is actually where 15% of the net profits from my Southern Resident Killer Whale collection went. It went to the Whale Museum and like I said, I love that company. I have a poster from them. I have shirts from them. I have stickers from them. Like I said, endless amounts of money goes towards them and this shirt is super cute. I have the older J pod shirt it's like a heathered blue color but this one i need because it's the updated 2021 one and also i really hope we get a new shirt in 2022 when the three new babies come let's hope let's hope and pray for three healthy southern resident births and calves the next thing on my list I'm a little salty about and I talked about it I think in my last video and it is the Star Wars the Skywalker Saga Nintendo Switch game. I always thought it was going to be released December 2021 however Amazon says December 2022 so that was on my Christmas list and now it's not on my Christmas list because there's no point in pre-ordering it when I won't get it for a whole year. So that will be moved to my 2022 Christmas list if I don't buy it before then. But I love Star Wars. I'm a secret Star Wars nerd. If you guys didn't know that, I love it. But yeah, I just felt like I should include that because I'm still salty about it. The next item on my Christmas wish list is hiking boots. I do not have hiking boots. I have extra tufts, which they're only good for so many hikes. So I figured when I wanna do like super, super intense hikes, I should probably get hiking boots. So I asked for these Columbia boots. They're like a tan and kind of like a sage green. They're so beautiful. I asked for those and I, I really hope I get it because that is, they are so beautiful. I mean, look at these. 
look how beautiful they are. I've heard great things about Columbia hiking boots as well, and I love Columbia. I have so much stuff from them, rain jackets, hiking pants, socks, like I have so much from Columbia and they are a brand that I really enjoy. The next thing on my Christmas list is a Teton Sport hydration pack with a camelback bladder. And I wanted this because I do not drink water while I'm hiking because I hate stopping and like pulling out my hydro flask from my backpack. So this will tempt me into drinking more water and make me drink more water because all I gotta do is pop it in my mouth and I can drink water while hiking. I've never tried Teton Sports. I have heard great things about them. So... The next item on my Christmas list is hiking pants. I'm not sure what brand these are. I just found them on Amazon. So they're just this really pretty green color. I wear my hiking pants as like real fashion. So I figured why not get some more hiking pants? I also would love a new black pair because I have a black pair of Columbia ones, but they've seen better days. They're a different material than these ones. These ones are more like cargo material and the ones that I have are kind of like cotton-ish. So those I wear basically as leggings. I don't even rarely ever wear them to hike anymore. So I need new hiking pants. So I have two on my list. I have the green and I have the black pair. The next item on my wish list is the decathlon down jacket. I need a down jacket so bad because when it is so cold in Juneau, but I still wanna go hiking, my layers are not cutting it. So I got a down jacket. This is for 23 degrees. So it rarely ever gets that cold in Juneau consistently. We have like a couple days here and there. So this jacket will be fine. And I'm asking for it in the midnight blue color. Next, I have one pair of shoes on my Christmas list, which is pretty average. I typically only ask for like zero to one pairs, but they're the Doc Martin Chelsea boots. I want these so bad i see so many people wearing them and styling them in the cutest ways and i i really need them i have the lace-up doc martens i'm not exactly sure on the style of them i don't really like them i never wear them anymore and i really just want chelsea boots because let's be honest this is why I love my extra tufts. I can just slip them on and off. Like I don't even have to worry about tying them or them becoming untied. So the Chelsea boots, I want them so badly and I really hope that I get them. I realized I just said I ask for zero to one pair of shoes per Christmas season, but I asked for two this year. I asked for the Chelsea boots and the hiking boots, but we're gonna ignore that. This is the only book that I asked for this Christmas season, but it is called Orca Shared Waters Shared Home. I have seen it in countless amounts of bookstores, but it's like $30. So I just put it on my Christmas list. And if someone loves me enough, they can buy it for me. But it's basically about the Southern residents in the Salish Sea. And I really hope I get it. It's hardcover, which I typically don't enjoy hardcover books. I don't know why, I know they're nicer and they last longer, but I prefer soft cover books. I think it's because like I can fold them while I'm reading them. I don't know, let me know if you're the same way or if I'm just a weirdo. The last two items on my Christmas list are jeans. I really only get my jeans from Hollister, which is probably so outdated. Hollister, I shopped there when I was in high school. I still shop there today. These jeans are from Hollister. I just really enjoy Hollister products. I don't really buy shirts from Hollister. I just buy jeans. But the two I want, they're the same style. They're the ultra high rise stacked vintage straight jeans. And I want them in black. And I want them in a denim pair. And I believe these are also from their Earth Friendly line. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% sure but I saw Hollister does do an earth friendly collection now, which is so great, but I don't buy myself nice clothes very often. Like this was the last piece of like nice expensive clothing that I bought it was like $40 at NAO. Other than that, I thrift a lot of my things, but there are just certain things that you cannot find thrifting and that is jeans for me. I just do not have any luck finding jeans. So I asked for them for Christmas. All right guys, that was everything on my Christmas wish list for 2021. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. I know I said I was gonna do a giveaway at 2000 subscribers. However, that kind of happened over the summer while I was on a break. 
so I am moving it to 3,000 subscribers. So if you want to be entered in a giveaway when I hit 3,000 subscribers, click the subscribe button, tell your friends, tell your family, tell anyone you know to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, check out Blackfish & Co. in the description. Okay, bye!